Hey, hello, my Forever Fit gang. How are you doing today? I am so excited to present Power Scoop Express 3. We need a couple things here to make this happen. On block one, we will use the step. Yes, so there we go. See, step, and you will use dumbbells. On block two, you will use, again, the step and the dumbbells. And block three, nada, just you. Three blocks of work. Don't leave me alone on the warm-up, so don't show up late. Get there on time to the warm-up. Block one, step cardio and arms. So you will be going back and forth between movements on the step, very fast to get your heart rate mega high. And then you're gonna have a cardio peak of 30 seconds of a move that is sometimes on the step, sometimes not. And then you will finish up working arms. So what does that mean? So we get our heart rate up, 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 and then slightly down. So that's the high intensity interval training. So, so good. Then block two, you are gonna work a bit more isolating your bigger muscles. Um, not just the bigger ones like chest, but the little guy triceps and shoulders. Here, you will need a step to lay down on, because I like to do chest press um, on the step. Block three, body weight cardio. You don't need a step, just you. It's jumpy, yes, there is options, so don't get discouraged. Do it. I wanna see what you think about it, and hey, oh my gosh, it's gonna kill me. No, you might be sore, yeah, <laughs> but I'm gonna kill you. If you um, practice consistently, and maybe take all the modifications and commit to do my workouts three times a week. You will get better at it, I guarantee. So come back. Thank you so much for being here. Did I tell you to subscribe? Will you please? And please bring a friend to this channel. It is where I want to share a life that is forever fit. So let's do it together. Comment below. Super important that you tell me how things are coming along for you. Send a like. Do something, interact with me here in this channel. It's not just for me here, it's for us. So let's do it. Thank you so much. Thank you to Bernie behind the scenes here, just doing this whole amazing job. So there we go. Enjoy the workout. All right, let's get started and get warm. Bring your left leg forward, right foot back, and bend the front knee. Hop over, same thing, other side. Right leg forward, left leg back. Nice. All right, other side. This time, keep your right leg on the bench and lift your toes and sink in a little lower. Good. Other side, same thing. Left leg on the bench. There we go. Good, hop over. Left leg forward and tap. Tap the right. Good. And come on, give me a little bit more movement here. Good. Another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hop over and other leg. Start a bit slower. Alrighty, and go, go, yeah. Three, two, one, and down. Bring both legs wide apart so that the bench is between your legs. Open your arms wide, and then drop your hands so that it touches the step, but keep your back straight. Now open your legs a little wider and shift yourself from side to side. Nice. I'm gonna hop around quite a bit today. I'm gonna get those legs warm. Good, come up to standing. Up and down, starting with your left, starting with your right, left, right, good. Left, already. Now, if you feel comfortable, just a little faster. A slight tap on the side and then keep alternating. Good. Coming along. 
Alrighty. Now, lift your arms. Oh yeah, there we go. Everything coming really good for this morning, evening. I don't know, what time do you work out? You tell me. I like to know. Okie dokie. Last one, and time. Good. Shoulder roll. Alrighty. Take a deep breath. All right, so your next part of the workout, we will be working very fast around the step. Also, right after our heart rate is up, 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 we are gonna sit down and work arms so that that heart rate goes down, down, down again. And then we go up and down five rounds of work. So come behind your step. First thing you're going to jump forward, give me a burpee, and then walk back. Make sure that your knees are soft so you're ready for a jump. Alrighty, my timer is telling me, two, one, jump forward, legs back, in, and walk back, go again. Jump forward, legs back, in, walk back, maybe with the other leg first this time, see? You keep alternating here, right? And then here, left. Want just a bit more work? Instead of walking back, whoo, jump forward, want less? Give me a big walk like that and step it out. See, several ways of getting it done. There we go. Okay, a bit more. Good one, last one. Good, now, come to the side of the bench. <clears throat> Extend your legs. Mountain climbers. 30 second cardio peak. Ready, set, and go. Good. So make sure that your hands are pressing down and that your chest is more or less directly over your hands. Pump your knees forward. Option. A knee kick right here. There we go. Okay, faster. Last 10 seconds are on. <sighs> Oh yeah, and time, good. Come up and sit down. Grab two heavier dumbbells. There we go. Legs are close together. Wrists forward, biceps curl. That's your job right now. So we got that heart rate up, up, up. Now let's get it a notch down, but you're still moving here really quite intense in another way. Good, so take a breather. Make sure your posture is optimal. Let your arms just come down all the way. Oh yeah, and bring it up. Good, and keep it steady. Yeah. Bring the dumbbells up, down fully, up, up fully. Yeah, Alrighty. Woo, give me one more. And time. Well done. Okay, come up. Start on the right side of your step. Right here by the end of your step with your left leg on. Widen this leg a little bit that way. Jump forward. Hop over. Jump back. Oops. Hop over. Jump forward. Hop over. Jump back. Hop over. Option. Walk it out. Yeah. There we go. That works very well too. And here we go. Yeah, you're jumping into a split squat. Nice. Good, good. <clears throat> one more round, one more round. Good. Come here on the side of the step. Take a quick breather. This is a cardio peak two. Hop over the step as quick as you can. Ready, set, and we're going. As quick as you can. Or just step up and down. Get those toes up. There we go, come on. Quick, so bend forward a bit, keep your knees soft. Right on. 
Oh, yeah, I'm ready, Mari. Come on, come on, move it. Good. How ready? Come on, come on. Four, three, two, hold. Nice. All right, sit down again. Grab your two dumbbells one more time. Again, we work the biceps. This time, make sure that your wrists are facing each other. So your curl is a bit narrower. Keep your legs close together. So earlier we were here with the wrists forward. Now, the wrists are facing each other. Coming along. Woo. Alrighty. I said five rounds earlier, right? So this is round two. Woo, three more to go. So stay tuned. Okay, 15 seconds. Okay, come on. Oh, the heartbeat is going. Good job. Alrighty, give me two more, two more. One and two. Excellent. Okay, bring him down again. Come again towards the right side of your step. This time you're going to hop over, two jacks, hop over, two jacks. That's it. Ready, set, go. And one, two, hop over. And one, two, go again, hop over. Up all the way with your arms, option. And then take it a notch slower here. Alrighty, everybody in the workout, yes? One, two. Careful that your arms don't start becoming a little, like, you know, bring them up all the way, all the way. Good. Coming along. Last one. Excellent. Okay, stay exactly where you're at. Through the second card, you pick three. Jack presses, but it's up all the way. So instead of doing this, go up, up, or tap. Yes, all the way. On the tiptoe, watch your knees. Don't do that, please. Bring your toes out. Good. Go for four, three, two, one, hold. What shall I say? All right, you sit down. One dumbbell only. All righty. Make your feet very solid on the floor. Lift the dumbbell up and bring it behind your head. There we go. Make sure your elbows are close to your head, so don't open up your wings like that. No, no. Right here is good. Try to bring the dumbbell about neck line. Bottom of your neck. Good. Fifteen seconds to go. Give me four, three, two, one. Nice. Already. Come to the right side of your bench again. This time you're not gonna touch the step. You're gonna hop over. So watch me first. Into a burpee with push up, with a jump, everything in. Ready? And take it on. Option, knees down. And then slow down that hop. Sounds good? Come on. The jump could become just a huge reach. There we go. Come on, go. <clears throat> Lift your feet, come on. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
really don't like to talk too much to this one. So do your stuff, come on, and I'll do mine. One more right here. Lift. Oh. And hold. Good. All right, breathe. Cardio peak five. Forgive me. Four. Okay, push ups. I'm gonna do my push ups with my hands on the bench. 30 seconds. As many push ups as you can. Bring your hands wide. There we go. Option here. Knees down. Whew. I like to keep him down there forever. I hate push ups. Oh. But hey, you'll never get better if you don't try. If you don't try. <laughs> ah. And for the fact that my hands are elevated off the floor, that's definitely very helpful. One more. Oh, good. Okay. <sighs> Take a breath. Sit down. Two dumbbells, this time bring the dumbbells on the side of your body, bend your elbows and kick back, kick back, see, there we go, alrighty, so keep your shoulder from moving, it's the forearm doing the job so that the triceps gets on fire, yeah. Come along. Alrighty, give me four, three, two, one. Okay, block five. Hey, remember the first move we did earlier? No, it was the second one. This time, towards the end of the bench with your right leg on, jump forward, hop over, jump back, hop over, there. Remember the option? Walk it out. Sounds good? Alrighty, we got 28 seconds to kill it. Always use your arms to propel you. Up, up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All righty. Stay put. Okay, one more round for me. Good. And down. All righty. Okay. Cardio peak five. Again, you're not going to touch the step really. You will hop over. This time, Bring one foot across, like that. And use your fingertip to just give you a reference point on how low you should go. Alrighty, try to bring that back foot off the floor. Whew. There we go. Give me four, three, two, and one. Breathe. Arms, last one. Smaller pair of dumbbells. All right. All right. Bend forward. Side raise. Front raise. Side raise. Front. Here we go. Last one on block one. Good. Still work to do. Come on. Go. Good. Two more. Last one. And time. Well done. All right. Good job. Next section, 
We'll be working specifically the chest. So I'm gonna turn my bench, just so we know you can see me better. Four moves, chest press. What else we got? Okay, it's a chest workout, a triceps workout, a chest and a shoulder. All right, so I'm gonna get you through it, one move at a time, a minute and 15 in each move. So for the chest press, I'm grabbing 10 pounds. If I had a pair of 15, I would do the 15, maybe even 20. But hey, if you're a beginner, five pounds will do. Lay down on the bench, feet firm on the floor, wrists forward. Drop the elbows down and press. Hey, Mocha, how's it going? There we go. Now watch my elbows. They stop at about the height of the top of the bench, maybe a little bit lower. Make sure your dumbbells are not flying towards your chest. So control. Go down a little slower and up faster. Right on. Now coordinate your breathing. Breathe in and out at the top. Breathe in when you drop and out when you lift. How is it going? Yeah, open the pectorals real wide. Okay, how much time we got? 20 seconds coming. Right on. Okay, give me four more. Four. Three, two, and one. Nice. Come up, roll your shoulders. Next move will target your triceps. So take two dumbbells, stick them together like this, lay down. Arms are way up, and then bend your forearms so that the dumbbells come close to your head. And then press up. There we go. Now, if your dumbbells are not hexagonal, that might be a little bit difficult. So you might want to use one dumbbell only. That works. Sounds good? Alrighty, so keep working at it. Let me reset this with my other 10 pounds. Alright, there we go. Now note that my elbows are the ones doing the bend. The shoulders are not moving, so don't find yourself doing this. Yeah, keep it steady right here. This move is commonly known as the skull crusher. Well, no wonder. Hold on to those dumbbells or, yep, you are going to break your head. So watch out. Good. Ten seconds to go. Four. Three. Two, and one, nice, come up, shoulder roll, chest fly, so back we go, this time still your wrists are facing, you open your arms like you're gonna big, give somebody a big big hug, alrighty, your wrists are facing each other, that's the work on the chest again, right on. And pull. So have the impression that you are pulling the floor up. Oh, good. Come along. Nice. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, we still have so much time left. And as you notice, I'm not extremely speedy with my moves. I like you to focus on quality of movement than quantity. Yeah. Oh yeah. And press. Coming along. Good. Two more. Nice. 
twice. And time. Excellent. Alrighty, we got one more move. Oh yeah, shoulders. I had to pick. I'm like, what's the next thing? I kind of forgot. <laughs> this time, sit on the bench. Breathe. Alrighty, Arnold press. Yes, because it was the Arnold who made it up. <laughs> so bring two dumbbells facing you. I would say your wrists are facing you. Twist and press. Release. Twist and press. There we go. Slowly. Oh boy. A whole minute. Yeah. Up, up, all the way and down. Oh, Mocha, you're so sleepy. How's it going, baby? Yeah. Come along. Hey, when you work out here with me, I want to know how many pounds you used, what size dumbbells you used for your Arnold presses. Please let me know. Send a comment. 10 pounds, I have to say, kind of bites a little bit. I have done this with heavier before. But I had a huge workout yesterday. <laughs> One more, and time, that's it. Good, shake it out. Tell me the size of dumbbell you used for these moves. I'm very curious, so please share with me, like to know, okay. Next part of the workout, you will not need the bench, so go ahead and put it away. All right, however, it's gonna be fast. Body weight cardio. And we're starting in less than 10 seconds. We don't really need the dumbbells either, but I don't have time to move them now. So watch out that nothing is on your way. Sounds good? Already. 45 seconds, jack. Just legs, option. Now, I like you to jack with your arms very straight. Option. Good. So I'm hooking my thumbs to each other. That's the jack we are at right now. Okay, so last six moves are body weight cardio and they're gonna get that heart rate up, up, up. Good, come on. And four, three, two, one, hold. Recover. Next one. Legs wide. Hold your hands right here. Lift your heels. Three tiny little jumps and a pop. One, two, three, pop. One, two, three. Good, one. Can't jump. Pulse. One, two, three, in and out. One, two, three, in and out. Cool. One, two, three, in, out. In, out. Heels up, on the tiptoe, quick, quick, there we go, one, two, three, out then, ah. one more, and hold, good one. Breathe. Next move. Arms straight. We're gonna jump, but hang on. Let's easy in. Squat and lift. Squat and lift. Good. Next one. In, out. In, out. Or step in and alternate sides. Woo, yes. Or just keep squatting. Do something. Arms are super straight. Legs open up quite wide, sink into the hips. If you can't touch the floor, well, what about here? Give me the range of motion that you can today. And the time, it improves. One more. Breathe. Alrighty, this one here, listen up. 
you need move side to side so you might have to chase me over there by my desk ready set one two three four touchdown four touchdown good if you live in a very tiny pay place maybe one two one two one two or shuffle without jumping yeah okay I like quick feet that's good for me touch down can't reach the floor good go halfway nice Ooh, yeah. one more there and back hold breathe this one you actually don't jump hands here squat rotate the right side squat rotate the left good the reason you don't jump on this one is because you are gonna jump you're gonna jump real good on the next move so this is kind of like an active recovery next move coming up squat jumps so it's not just jumps it's squat jumps so you have to sink your legs a little lower and one more on the other side good keep your legs open wider sink into a squat and jump into a squat release sink and jump get it option make sense come on up and hold knee super bend use your arms land Woo. do I do this ones are a little bomb come on mocha try me and if you feel a little like heck I can do it that's okay we don't have to be able to do it all right away huh <laughs> right away with time practice and consistency we get there one more hold oh, take a breath <sighs> believe me class is over oh. <sighs> stretches arms up reach oh my heart is wild all right, right arm under, left arm over. How do you feel after trying this? Come on, tell me. Shoulder roll. Grab your toes. Hold on to a wall if you have to. Lift your arm up. Okay. Now bring your back leg up a little bit. Try to balance here. Again, if you can't do this, hold on to a wall, okay? All right, the other side. Whew. I'm sweaty. You know, I don't sweat a lot when I work out. It's kind of odd. Some people, yeah, they can work out like two minutes and they're sweating. Yeah, it's not me. But today, maybe my room is a bit too warm. I feel it but again it's not like dripping so every person is different doesn't mean that you didn't work out hard if you don't sweat a lot doesn't mean a thing <sighs> all right hey again tell me everything about this workout please share it with your friends bring people to this channel and let's continue working on a life that is forever fit I'm glad I don't have to do it alone you're here and every week when I teach my classes at my local gym ha, I have about 15 to 20 people joining me every class so it's super cool 
Guys, thank you so much. Woo! Power Sculpt. This was what? Power Sculpt 3? Power Sculpt 3. In the box. Take care. Until next week.